everyone, how's it going? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're always smiling. And I hope you don't mind the rainy sounds out the window or my rainy life. But, and sorry about the lighting, it might be a little weird because it's gloomy. <laughs> so I hope you're doing well. My eyeshadow. I feel like this light is so bright. Maybe that's, no, that doesn't help. Maybe I'll change the color. I know, I'm always messing around with my light. Okay, that looks more natural. I want it bright so you can see my makeup, but I don't want it not really natural. You want a natural look. All right, so today we're going to go back into some wild, crazy Canada places. Canadian places, Canada. Yep. And we're going to be talking about the Sleeping Giant, the Sleeping Giant Island. Lake Superior, Ontario. So here's a little pitch. He's sleeping. So if I say these tribal names wrong, I'm sorry, or Native American or Aboriginal, all how you guys want to be called, it's upon you what you want to be called. I just want to be called a woman because I'm a woman and Diane because that's my name. <laughs> or always smiles because I try. <laughs> so my eyeshadow today is actually all the conspiracy palette. I went through my palettes and like what palette I don't really use that much. And it was that one. So I just put it on. Brows are elf. I love it. And I love my lashes. It is 3D great lash. I have a video. It's not going to have the same makeup. Going to be going up. But or will be up before this one. So all right, <laughs> let's get into talking about this, and then I'll do my face while we discuss it. So, the Sleeping Giant is an island in Lake Superior, of course. It's in Ontario. Actually, I think Superior is a great lake, so it's on the borderline, aren't you guys? It's not just in Ontario. So, if you look across Lake Superior from Thunder Bay, so Thunder Bay would be in Ontario. It's like... A, a crescent you'll look on the map you'll know what I'm talking about in the distance you'll see the great giant it's supposedly it's just like a giant landmass they're saying so in the, the jokingly in the the little script they're saying that like if you squint you'll see that it's a giant but you don't really they're speculating it's part of the flora or florun Forun Islands. I don't know what islands. I know that is like I know Georgian Bay. I don't know that much about Thunder Bay. So I know it's part of like the 10,000 Island Cruise or whatever. It's not 10,000 Islands but we have an Island Cruise ship that goes like kind of through there. I think it's part of those islands. I'm not very sure but let me know. I want to take that cruise ship. It looks cool. I'm hoping you know to do it. <laughs> Because that one looks fun. So, however, they call it First Nation folklore. I don't call anything folklore anymore. I just, you know, it's mythology or true facts. Because still, you know, Smithsonian has everything for that. So, it's the great giant, the sleeping giant, the island. It's, I can't say it. Nana Debo, Nana Deboji. All right, I'm just going to put this up here. I'm going to, can you see it? I can't say that word, okay? And I tried to look it up and it wouldn't let me on Google. They're like, no, nope, it's the sleeping giant. That's all you need to know. I was like, all right. Nana Boji. It's, that's its name. I can't say. It's part of the Ojibwe tribe. It's part of their Sussex area folklore so what the story is really comes down to it is that a bunch of white men they don't tell you if they're french or english they don't care it's just a bunch of evil white men came all right i'm gonna put down and start putting on some makeup so we're gonna do some can you even see it oh, sorry if you hear blooped sorry so we're going to look into so what this story is about, 
Sorry, I'm getting pictures sent to me and things discussed to me while I'm video, and I'm apologizing again. You, you, I didn't know you hear it till I try to get editing software, so I'm sorry. So, the little feels like a putty. So, what I've read upon this folklore in this book is that that the Native Americans in the area um, found worked together with this god to mine um, to mine silver on 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 the land, not on the island that it became, but on land. And they worked together to mine the silver out of the island and, you know, gave it some to the giant for his riches because they he showed him where that was. And, they, you know, a give and a take. i got to find a brush. Sorry. So, I'm going into Montel. Actually, no, I'm going to do this first. I don't know what I'm thinking. So f I'm trying to think and talk at the same time. It's not working for me. So Femission's Formula. What is this color? It is in yellow. I'm going to put it under my under eyes because they look in purple as my eyes. So the 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 lore is, is that, or the whatever you guys want to call it, is they... They were, this god, this giant, worked together with the Jibways to mine the, oh, I'm using Joe Fresh Brush. They mined silver from the land in the area and worked together for centuries, working good, you know, that's that's what you want to hear like and the sad part of it is that white man came like they always do I'm not very pleased with them my ancestors to be honest I'm ashamed but came in and got them fought war with the aboriginals and took over the silver mines and now I'm going to put in a little bit of e.l.f. concealer and I want to try this e.l.f. highlighter because I've never tried it. Just a little bit underneath so I can give it a little color before I put everything on. And yes, I, I bought this before I bought the Hydro just to try it. Do a little rub here. Let on the spots with the leftovers, of course. But that's the full... Lord, is that the giant got okay back to the story because I'm spacing out like I always do and I should just tell you the story and then do my makeup <laughs> but I'm not so pretty much that white man came because that's exactly what the white evil man came took over their fought the war with the aboriginals and took their land and then realized the giant actually was there as well. And decided to to um I'm using an elf brush. I like it because it has a swirl leash. So and I'm using Monter um Moncre Monk, Monk, no, I can't speak today. Tinted moisturizer in beige. I'll leave everything in the below so I can discuss. And I'm, I'm not discussing. I'm doing what I normally do, spacing out. So, <laughs> pretty much what they did was got the the giant drunk. Back to the story. Got to the giant drunk after invading the mines, and then. The giant, it sounds like, it doesn't really sound like he's ashamed, but I guess the gods disapproved of him. And 
and turned them to stone. Because of... Sorry, I gotta get these spots. Stoned and invaded the area. And that's pretty much the story. The... The mythology on it. So what really so sums it up. Aboriginals work together with this giant that I can't pronounce his name properly because YouTube wouldn't let me. Or Google, I mean not really YouTube. Wouldn't let me. And sorry, I'm concentrating on this. So <laughs> Okay, stop what I'm doing and just say it. So, I don't want it to stick, though. So, Giant and the Aboriginals. Um, let me get this book back. Because I want to say the tribes right. It's near the end of the book. So, the Aboriginals and the Giants work together on the mining of the gold. Or, actually, of silver um, in that area. And what they, cool. So what they did was, oh, I'm not taking the time now. So what they did was work together. White men came, got the Aboriginals, fought a war with them. Aboriginals had to say, of course, lost because white man had gone. And we're a douchebag. And stole their silver from them and sold and now I'm going into with elf concealer just normal sorry about the dang YouTube's going as well so So what they did was got the giant. So the poor Aboriginals, of course, lost the war. And the giant. And white man got the giant drunk. And the giant gods were disappointed, it sounds like, of him. And... I think I put too much on. I think I did. Well, what can I do? I ain't going back. <laughs> I ain't. Sorry about all the dings again. I guess everybody and their dog wants to talk to me today. And I'm just going to go find a beauty blender quick. So, oh, come on shouldn't be this hard. There we go. And there we go. And it's not wet. I'm just using it to fix this up. <laughs> All right. Keep that out. I'm going into this highlighter on the other side of this elf just to try it. I'm going to have to put it on now because I don't. I want to put my powder on top. And I'm just going to take this brush. It's just. And dust it out. Because it says it's a highlight. I don't see much. Maybe it's an under eye highlight, like just to pop it up. It looks a little bit more glowy on this side, so. Okay, it's not that exciting. All right, good to know. So I'm going into with Ramel setting powder around my face, under eyes. I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. palette. I'm going to use it for my bronzer. I don't know which one yet. I'm pretty sure this neon. And then I'm going to go in under eye with that. I just want to quickly brush this over my face. 
go in with a fluffy brush and throw it on. So, I I personally don't know how I feel about Giants. I just know the Masonian like takes freaking everything. Oh, I'm covered in the powder. Covered in the powder. Powder me. Sorry. So, the movies come out. So, I'm, and I'm trying to do this quick. So, I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself because I'm losing track of literally what I'm saying. And yes, I'm putting it under because I put it under today. I'm a little dust in the ear. I do the mouth because I don't want my door to be shiny. Do under my chin. And we're going to press it on here a little more because... It looks really, really greasy. Alright. I didn't use a lot of Rimmel, but I don't. Because it's very, it's loose powder, but it does not always, it kind of modifies my face. Alright. So, what I think about this conspiracy, or your th the theory, I don't even think it's a conspiracy. Maybe there were giants back then. And we just don't know. I'm taking a blue deep under to the elf palette. And it's not bad. It's not like everything for a banana powder. No. But it does it do the job. Definitely does. Is my eye creasing? No. So, good. So, what do I... I'm going to go in with an elf brush for my bronzer. I'm gonna go into a deep shade just to do something different. So, what do you believe? I personally think that giants were real. And I did it down my face today. Just a little bit. Um, everyone's different. People a lot of people think mythology isn't real, but why would the government let you see everything, especially if they're testing or anything on these things? So, it's up to you what you think. I personally think a lot of the Aboriginal folklore is real. Because it was still in modern time, to be honest. Like, not modern... Well, a lot of people think modern time should be within our present. I think modern time is anything after Jesus. Is that a good way to describe it to you? Some people are different upon that opinion, but that's upon you, okay? Those are things upon you, me. I personally think that we should listen to more of these Aboriginal folklore. And I would personally, if I was an adventure group, I would look into it. Because not a lot of people do. Like, yes, they go to Skinwalker Ranch or they go to... Like, um, I have not seen Canadian adventures. That's something I can say. Like, not a lot. And there are some on YouTube, but I haven't seen any. So, so with the same brush, I'm going in with this neon pink that I'm excited. If I need, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Okay, I really like this. I knew I'd like this side of the palette, though. It's some jumbo elf palette I got for Christmas one year from my friend. And yes, I like to put it on my cheeks and up. Put it on the cheeks and up. So, what do you think about folklore? I know I repeated myself a million times. I want to put on this lighter brush, too, because I can. Um, because I want to lighten up this bronzer a little bit. I'm just going to go into this. That's cute. Cute, cute, cute. Right, highlighter. 
Let's just go into this. What is this? Silk, corn silk, shining control, skin brightening, loosening powder, natural. Sally Hansen. Okay. I don't think I need a lot, so I'm just gonna take a, a poofy brush. I've I've only used this a couple times. It's very light. Maybe too light. It says it's corn silk. What's corn silk? I don't know. Oh, there we go. Maybe it's the brush. All right, I'm gonna try a different brush. Maybe I need a looser brush. And just round it on. It's very subtle. It's very subtle, if you can tell. But that's okay, a lot of people like that. And it's not subtle on my pants anymore. <laughs> I gotta drop something or it wouldn't be a video because a lot of people... I'm human. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little heavy it because it's not enough for Diane Cushing. And then I'm just going to take a beauty blender quick. So let me know, what do you think about folklore? Everybody's different. Everybody has their own opinion. I'm just going to put this stuff everywhere because okay. And yeah. All right, let's just load it a little bit up. I want to do lips and I haven't done lips on video. Because I'm unsure about it. And I'm just going to take this beauty blender. And just go. T -t 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 over all the spots. I kind of. Because it's a little. Yeah. Flute. Alright. So lip liner. I'm taking. Beauty Vault. Baru. In. Baru Baby, I guess that's the company. No, it's by Beauty Vault. I got this in Boxy Charm. Okay. And I don't line up my lips or anything, so bear with me. My lips are really dry, so I should have put a balm on. Alright. Ain't the best line job. We'll fix it after. You know what? Let's go on a real lipstick. No, that won't match. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's go on with this one. Alright, so this is from Maybelline Lim. You know what, next time, I think I want to line my lips. They don't look the best because this is like a tinted moisturizer. Let's go into this a little more. And just do a little on here like that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. Do a little bit of that. Take... Not bad. I got, because my lips are big. Like, my bottle, like, I don't know how to line lips. 
probably should watch a video, but I probably won't. So I hope you guys have a lovely day. I hope you enjoy my makeup look. I hope you guys write in the comments. Let me know about any giants in your area. I'm curious about more native folklore. I don't know if that's how they call it. I call it myths or facts because that's what history is. It's a fact. So I hope you guys have a lovely day. I'm sorry about repeating myself. Sorry about any dingle bingles or fingles. And I hope you have a lovely day. Bye.